Hello and welcome to the 25th financial charting uh, tutorial within Python and Matplotlib where we left off we were just kind of uh, arranging and coloring our chart a little bit to make it look a little better than it was looking. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue doing that. We're going to kind of uh, edit around on this uh, MACD now and then after that we'll be doing one more thing that actually will change the functionality a little bit but uh, I think you'll like what we do. So. Um, so let's go ahead and, and fix up our MACD. And close out of that and scroll down to where we've done the MACD stuff. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay, fill color. Um, I think that we'll leave the fill color the way it is. And down here, let's add some colors. So let's say color equals, and we'll do number four, EE6FD. And we'll say the line width equals two. And then here we'll just do color equals uh, E1EDF9. And line width will be one. Now, the next thing I wouldn't mind doing, let's see. Let's go ahead and add that text here as well, like we did on the other one. So basically the same thing. We'll do x two dot text. In fact, it, we'll just copy and paste. So that copy that. Come down here. X two. Okay, we go. Dot text. Same thing. Only this time we're going to change it to be Matt. D twelve twenty six nine. Uh, we still want it aligned to the top. The only thing different here is going to be we make that AX two. And that's good. Let's see what we're looking at now. And let's get rid of this. Let's see what we've got now. Cool. So now it's up there. It's kind of getting overlapped a little bit. But I still like it there better than on the side. But you can do whatever you want again. Uh, the colors, I think, are pretty good. I'm still not happy about these colors. I don't know what the heck to do with this line. Maybe like a light gray or something. Let me try that. Let me scroll up real quick. Let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know. I have no idea what to do about that. Um... Try this one. C one F nine F seven. I just have no idea. I don't know. That looks okay. I'll just leave it there. I'll play with it later. You can do whatever the heck you want to do with it. <laughs> I just can't make up my mind. Um, let's see. I think now what we want to do is shrink the amount of digits here. Obviously, there's way too many. They're kind of overlapping each other. Um, so we definitely want to do that. So let's go down to AX2. And what we want to do is AX2.yaxes.set underscore major underscore locator. And we want to use mticker.max and locator. And then here you can specify how many you want to show up. So we'll just say like five, right? And then we're going to go ahead and prune uh, the upper. Oops. Up. And because we're doing that, we can add this, and we'll just delete that commented out title. Run this. Drag it over. Okay, so now at, this actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this chart now. I'm starting to like this line as well, so maybe I'll stick with it. <laughs> So I think as far as like editing the chart and the way it looks, I think this will do for now. Um, now the next thing I think that we should do, and I think that would be kind of nice, is like the way that we're plotting this is actually from data on our computer. But you can pull this data off uh, Yahoo's API, and you can just do it like whenever you want with whatever stock you want. So wouldn't it be kind of nice if we could use this functionality with 
any stock. And like all we would have to do is like just type in the stock ticker and then boom, it graphs it for us, right? Um, like online, there's a lot of websites that that's all they do, right? They just kind of reference maybe Yahoo's API and draw the graph for you that you specify what parameters you want. So now you can kind of just do that yourself and it's actually quite quick. So that's the next thing that we're gonna do. So that way, you know, we can generate this chart with any stock and we could do two years, three years, 10 years, whatever. Just remember if you do 10 years, that the period will actually be a little different, right? It won't actually be 14 days. It'll be probably more like 28 days or something like that. But the period between each, you know, plot, basically. So uh, in the next video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of make this chart work with any stock, and we're not going to reference a file on our computer anymore. It's going to actually reference the Yahoo API directly. So if that sounds like uh, something interesting to you, then I suggest you continue on to the next video. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support and subscriptions, and until next time.